What's up, interwebs? I'm Connor, and this is Sorta Sound, the show about drinking alcohol and exploring it inside and out. Today, we're talking about Dennings Point Distillery in Beacon, New York. Uh, now, Dennings Point Distillery is uh, sourcing all local grains, fruit, produce for their distilling projects. And, uh, you know, I randomly found them while walking through Beacon. I was waiting to get into Hudson Valley Brewery walking around the town, nice little town, and I just see the distillery there, and I'm like, uh, hey, you guys selling bottles right now? The guy's like, yeah, so I bought a bottle of their single barrel cask strength bourbon, selected for its superior character, 115.8 proof, barrel number seven, It's gonna fight me. And I've been waiting till now to, to undo this pretty blue wax seal and, and drink it for the pleasure of the internet or the displeasure of the internet. You know, whatever comes first. Let's drink. In retrospect, if I was going to, if I knew I was doing this review, which I did, I probably should have bought their regular bourbon to, you know, know what they're normally blending things into. But I didn't, because I like stuff that hurts me. Okay? So here we are, doing this review. That is a lot of vanilla. The tannins. And caramel. And there's like this bright almost citrusiness hanging around the edges. It's like this very fresh flavor or scent. Yeah, there's like a fruitiness. It's not necessarily dark fruit. It's a little bit brighter than that. Maybe banana. Yeah, That is soft as hell. 115 proof. Fifty fucking something. Five fifty-seven math. Fifty math percent. Over fifty percent. Fifty-five. Seven. Fifty. About fifty-eight percent. Yeah, it's super warm, rich caramel, vanilla, a little bit of butteriness to it. Um, very slight wood tan at the end. I don't know how old this is, uh, per se. Uh, doesn't say straight bourbon whiskey, so not necessarily, uh, not necessarily even two years old. Um, it's not super complicated, but it's unbelievably soft and velvety, and it's just sweet, caramel, there's there there's this brightness to it now that brightness may come from from youth uh, but it, it doesn't it doesn't feel thin it's very like it has a very rich soft full texture uh, 
So it is like very oily and like I said, the, the flavors, there aren't, I'm not like, oh, here's this, here's that. It's, it's pretty straightforward, a little buttery, uh, like salted caramel and vanilla and a little bit of wood, but it just like gently presses down on you and it's like, wow, like it unbelievably just, just like a nice little kiss from somebody you love, you know? It's soft and sweet. It's, uh, it, uh, uh, uh. There is a little bit of a bready texture. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a breadiness in there. Um, but like I said, it's not super complicated. There is a brightness to it, but it's also mellow and and sweet and delicious. I, I'm super super impressed with how soft this is um and and how friendly and inviting it is almost actually it's not distinctly coffee there's no distinct coffee characteristics but the full experience reminds me of like Caramel Macchiato from Starbucks. Uh, very kind of like creamy, just a little bit of bitterness with a lot of caramel flavor and a lot of vanilla flavor. And just a little bit uh, of that butteriness, that, that little bit of salted caramel flavor. <coughs> Jeez, that is, that's really good. Uh, that's really good. Uh, I got nothing more to say about it. If you like the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel. Drink responsibly. Always recycle. Check out Denning's Point Distillery. Uh, if this is young and the things are going to get older and smoother and better, or I don't know. It's delicious. Bye.